I'm Stu Miniman, and this is a special on the ground here at the VTUG SummerSlam. Of course, the VTUG is the Virtualization and Technology User Group, and the VTUG has always been great at getting us some of these users on the program. So happy to welcome back Dan Valentine, who's in IT operations for Danone, the parent company of Danon. Spoke to you in uh, 2017 at, at the Winter Warmer at Gillette Stadium. Uh, since last we spoke, uh, you no longer live in New England, but you have a, a long history with this event. So uh, let, let's start there. What this event meant to you, and uh, what brought you back for the the ultimate final uh, VTUG event here? Well, I have a long professional relationship with Chris Williams. He's one of the organizers of the events. And since he introduced me to it and I started coming, um, my career has really taken off. The, the contacts that you can generate and the networking that you can do in an event like this is just unparalleled. And uh, you, know, you can also learn a lot from the events too, but it's almost a footnote because of everything else that you can gain from attending something like this on a regular basis. Yeah, uh, it's interesting. I always look at this show, and when they do the breakout sessions, uh, the expo hall gets pretty empty because people are wanting to learn, uh, but it is the networking. You know, people sitting, you know, it, it, be, before the events, uh, people sitting at lunch, and of course, uh, you know, this evening at the lobster event, uh, there's definitely some good networking, uh, oh, yes, you know, going on there. Um, so, uh, yeah, you know, explain, uh, you know, uh, for, from your standpoint, you know, th this event, you know, started very heavily in virtualization, but it's gone through, uh, you know, what, what's changing in our industries, you know, cloud and DevOps and those environments. Is that uh, kind of followed similar to what you've been seeing in your career? Oh, yes, absolutely. I mean, I, I started off as a sysadmin, very heavy in VMware, like a lot of us in that field. Um, and of course, you know, the, everything's evolving. You know, the, the only constant is change. And what I like most about this event is that they have, they've changed the vendors that come in, they've changed the keynotes, they've changed the, the, the different breakout sessions to keep the information that you're obtaining relevant. It's not redundant, and uh, it allows you to just keep a good bead on what's out there and what to expect in the coming years. All right, uh, Dan, what, 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 what is, uh, what's interesting you these days? I, I don't know if you've gotten a chance to go to any of the breakouts or you know, what you were looking at coming at the event, but other than coming back and you know, seeing some of the people you know, uh, even though you're no longer in the area, uh, you know, what, what, what was catching your interest? Well, something that's very different since the last time I spoke to you is, is cloud, specifically for the company that I work for. At that time, it was just a research. It was a nice idea. It was something that, of course, tech was talking about, but the business wasn't interested. And now we are actually in the middle of a cloud implementation for all of our data centers. We're moving off-prem, we're taking things to the cloud, and we're in the infancy stage of actually the implementation of that project. So it's been very beneficial to, to come here and gain that knowledge. Yeah, uh, I heard that one of the themes that was over and over, uh, you know, in the keynotes at this event, as well as when I hear many show, uh, shows, uh, and just, you know, it's not just change, but, you know, how can I become more agile um, and, and how can I adopt new things? Uh, the enterprise is, you know, not known for change or speed. Uh, so, you know, what are you seeing in your world and when you talk to your peers, uh, you know, kind of the, the openness to be able to embrace tech new technologies and make changes in the way things are done? Well, from my personal experience, I would say that most companies intentionally stay a little bit behind. Um, when there's a lot of money involved, when your return on your investment is high, um, you're not going to jump right into the brand new thing, you know. So, so there's, an in, there's an intentional, deliberate lag there behind what's brand new, behind what your options are at that moment. Um, so, so I think that businesses do, and they do want to move along. They are interested in it, but the validity has to be proven first. So. All right, uh, Dan, want to give you, uh, you know, your final thoughts, uh, the, the final VTUG. Uh, any, any memories uh, from the event or, uh, you know, last words that you have uh, for, for the VTUG community? Well, there's definitely some memories that I wouldn't feel comfortable sharing, <laughs> but uh, this, will, this will be missed. Um, I can say that this has been a huge part of my career up to this point, and I have every intention of keeping contact with many of the people that I've met here and continuing to build on those relationships throughout my career. And I'm pretty confident that I wouldn't be exactly where I am now if it wasn't for my relationship with Chris and the other people that he's introduced me to at this event. Yeah, waves of technology definitely come and go in the different tools and environment, but those relationships are so important to you know, our careers and the communities that we're part of. So thanks for coming back from Colorado, and thank you. really appreciate you sharing your story uh, with our community on theCUBE. Yes, of course, thank you. All right, uh, I'm Stu Miniman, and as always, thank you so much for watching theCUBE.